When I was 17, I went to see the Anglican priest who worked at my school. I was becoming curious about Christianity and needed to talk to someone. He was kind and friendly and we had a good conversation. And right at the end, when I was about to leave, he said to me, do you mind if I pray for you? It took me completely by surprise. I kind of froze. I wasn't ready for this. But for some reason, I said yes. He bent his head forward, closed his eyes and prayed for me. I can't remember what he said. I won't say I had a spiritual experience, but there was a kind of stillness in the room and I had a sense that something important was happening just out of the range of my perception. Back home that evening, something in me felt the need to pray that I didn't know what to do. Then I remembered how we used to pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer in our school assembly. The words of that prayer came back to mind, so I recited them out loud, not really sure what they meant or even whether God was listening. But I was conscious of trying to mean them and to speak from my heart. I think that this is what made the difference. For the first time in my adult life, I was speaking to God with faith, as if he were actually listening. And I can honestly say that on that day, everything changed. And I don't think there has been a day since then that I haven't prayed. Prayer is an amazing adventure. It's our friendship with God. It's a conversation with the God who loves us. It's the key that opens the heart of God. And for Christians, it takes on a special meaning because Jesus invites us into friendship with him. We are not shouting up to a distant God. We are speaking to Jesus heart to heart as a friend, a brother, a savior. And he leads us to the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spanish writer Saint John of the Cross speaks about a spiritual union that takes place between the soul and God. It comes about through our faith in Jesus and through the sacrament of baptism. God the Holy Trinity comes to dwell within our souls and we dwell within God. And whenever we pray with a sincere heart, this spiritual union becomes stronger. I was visiting a church in Dijon in central France. There were some ancient carvings of the Christian community gathered in prayer. Many of the figures stand there with arms open and hands raised. This is one of the traditional gestures used in Christian prayer. It's a symbol of how we can open our hearts to God in prayer. When Jesus speaks about prayer, and our friendship with God, he uses so many different images. A tax collector beats his breast and begs God for mercy. A wayward son is embraced by his father when he returns home. A man visits his friend in the middle of the night because he's run out of food. Children ask their parents for the things they need. A widow bangs on the door of a judge to get justice. A man finds some treasure hidden in a field. A merchant sells everything he has to buy a precious pearl. A shepherd rejoices when he finds the sheep that is lost. You could spend hours on each story learning something new about who God is and how we can come to know him. There are many things that can stop us praying. We can be too busy. We can be full of doubts. We can be unsure how to begin. We can be ashamed of what we have done. Sometimes we just prefer to keep God at a distance. It feels safer. I'd say something very simple. Don't be afraid of prayer. 
If there is one thing that could change your life, and I really mean that, it is to take the risk of praying. If you never really pray, you could take the risk of starting, of taking that first step. If you do pray, you could take the risk of going deeper. God wants to give you spiritual peace and consolation and guidance. It's not first of all about how you pray, it's the simple fact of praying. You can make prayers of intercession or praise or adoration or sorrow or thanksgiving. What matters is that you have started. An English monk said, pray as you can, not as you can't. As long as you pray with faith in Jesus Christ, he will fill you with his Holy Spirit and lead you to the Father. That is the ultimate adventure of prayer.